All right, let's see how many subscribers we'll lose today. All right, in this video, we're gonna make a Connect Four game. Just a little one, not the big yard ones that you see a lot of on YouTube. It's gonna be a little one, it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, you're gonna to wanna to stick to the end to see this completed. It's gonna be pretty cool. I said pretty cool too many times already. Okay, I'm not saying pretty cool anymore in this video. So I'm going to be using this piece of maple. I think it's a soft maple. It's kind of cool. It's got some uh, wormholes in it and stuff, but I'm going to make most of it from this board. Um, I actually don't need a lot of it. I think I only need about half of this board. So um, yeah, we're going to throw it through the planer. Actually, no. First, we're going to go with a miter saw and we're going to cut it down to a manageable length. Pretty cool. I'm going to make two cuts. I'm going to first make a cut to square up my end and get rid of any cracks I have here. And then I'm going to measure and cut about 14 inches. And um, that is pretty much all I'm going to need mostly for this and plus a little bit, but that's, that's going to be later on. So let's stop the chit chat and let's cut it. All right, now let's head to the planer and the joiner and we'll get this thing flat and get some square edges. Okay, I am not liking how this wood looks, so I'm gonna take another cut off of that wood and hopefully it gets a little bit better. Piece number two is not any better. All right, I decide I'm just gonna use the first piece. I'm gonna first joint this edge and then I'm gonna to go to the bandsaw and resaw it right down the middle because I'm gonna to try to get two pieces out of here that are a quarter inch final thickness when I'm done. So I'm hoping that the inside looks better. Now, when I look at the staining on here at the edge, I can see that it's just there. My, my hope is the inside will be clean and we'll just use this for the inside of the pieces. You'll see what I mean when we get into it. I'm a wee bit nervous to cut this. I've never resawed wood this wide before. I know I should have a fence that is taller, but this is what I have right now. So my thought is if I just keep firm pressure here and just push and go slow, hopefully we'll have a nice cut that is straight and not too wavy. So we'll see. I think I might actually lower this guide a little bit more. Well, I guess all we could do is just turn it on and see what happens. So worst case scenario is I got more wood. So let's try it. Well, that was anything but straight, but at least my pieces are well over a quarter inch. So let's throw them through the planer now and get them to exactly quarter of an inch. All right, now it's planed down and it's sanded smooth just to 120 grit. We'll do a final sand later, but the inside proved to be much nicer than, than that. I don't know what that is, ugliness stuff. So next, we're gonna throw this on my CNC and it's gonna cut out all the holes and a slot for the release mechanism to let all the little pucks drop out and what else is it cutting? Oh yeah, it's gonna be cutting a whole bunch of dados too for the middle dividers. I figured I would do that as well. So yeah, since it's already on the CNC, it can easily do that and I don't have to measure, just cut pieces and drop them in. So I decided to save you guys some boredom and I cut the little divider pieces off camera and they just go in here real nice and snug. I left them a little bit proud because my plan is when it's all glued together, I'll just take it to the table saw and run it across and nip them all off, give it a little bit of a sanding and we should be able to call it good. And they are a nice snug fit and they just, just set right in there. Obviously we're gonna glue this, but right now I'm just putting this together so that I can 
make the slotting assembly that will allow all the little pucks to drop out. And this is the part I'm kind of nervous about making because I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna work. I designed it on the computer and the computer said that it worked. And it just goes together just like that. So on the CNC, I made this ladder looking thing. And it is the mechanism that's gonna slide in the bottom there that is going to allow the pucks to drop through. So this is how it works. This is the bottom. And this is gonna drop in that groove like there. And it's gonna be sliding back and forth. And as you can see, right now, pucks can't fall through. But if we slide it forward, and you look, it's a clear pathway there. They can fall right through. So now what we need to do is we need to drill a small hole right through there. I've already marked it out, right through the bottom. And we're gonna put a nail through there that we can use that nail later when it's all put together to attach our handles to it. This piece is really small and it wants to wobble like this. And in order to make sure that doesn't happen, I'm just gonna hold it up tight against a block of wood. And I'm gonna drill that hole straight through, keeping it tight to that, because I'm hoping that will allow me to make sure my hole stays nice and straight. Okay, with that piece done, it's time to start gluing. Now the way I've designed this is we can actually install this after we've glued it. But we have to install this piece before we put our sides on, which we haven't made yet. That is coming. So take these out. And we're going to do just a little bit of glue. All right, this has been sitting for about an hour. I think that's long enough. Sweet. And that just needs a little bit of finessing to get the slide a little bit better. Awesome, I'm just gonna do some sanding off camera. We'll get on to making the stands for this. for the last glue up. Got the legs cut on the CNC. I kind of like that design with the little cutout. It took me a little bit of sanding to get these to fit in there, but they're a nice snug fit. So we'll just put some glue on there and we'll clamp it up. But first we have to remember to slide this in. Very important. And I'm gonna try to avoid glue squeeze out as much as possible. So I'm just gonna do a little bit down the middle and hopefully, hopefully we don't get glue squeezing out the sides. And make sure you got the bottom at the bottom. Let that sit. And I stayed up late last night and I cut 42 of these, 21 in the walnut and 21 in maple for a nice contrast. Now we just need to add a finish to this and I'm just gonna use some butcher block conditioner. It's just uh, food grade mineral oil and natural waxes. I just, I don't really wanna add like a sheen to this. I just wanna I mean, just kinda of protect the wood a little bit from any staining or anything like that. So I'm just gonna apply this and call it good. This is always the fun part because you get to see the color transformation of the wood. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll get back to you when it's done. I win. Ah, you got me. Okay, slide the lever over. Oh yeah. Hey. You win, Paige.
It works. So here you have it, a Connect 4 game. I really like how this turned out. I really like the design that I made for the legs. That kind of just, I don't know, makes it look cool. Super cool. Wait, I wasn't going to say that again, was I? Oh, oh well. Now, if you'd like to have the CNC files for this, I'm going to have them available in my Etsy store where you can go there and purchase them. There'll be probably just five bucks, I'm thinking. And the link will be in the description below. So that is it for this video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching it to the very end. And uh, yeah, like always, we'll see you in the next one.